I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat. Yeah. I was ruled out with no bailout on my Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Sharp Fitness. If you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. And today's video is going to show you exactly how to track your macros how to work them out so um, I know a lot of people don't know exactly how to do this in a really healthy and sustainable way um, they often just go onto the websites and the websites are helpful but they basically are very generic they are gonna start you off at really really low macros when actually in reality you do not need to do that and you could be surprised and you could realize that you could maintain and lose weight at many many more calories and enjoy a better balance of macros what you are going to need to start off your macro counting and your macro journey is a few things first of all you want to invest in two sets of scales so one to weigh yourself in the morning and one to weigh your food out and then the other key thing that you are going to need is to download a food tracking app and I highly recommend that you download my fitness pal dun, dun, dun. yeah okay so the first step you need to do is weigh yourself before absolutely anything okay so you need to weigh yourself preferably in the morning naked after you've just gone to the toilet um, and you weigh yourself you need to write this down and I highly recommend that you put it on a chart a little bit like this one and this is going to help you to track absolutely everything this is going to be a really helpful tool and show you what is happening to your body with the macros that you're consuming before doing anything before thinking about dieting before thinking about going into a bulk or anything we just need to see we need to get an idea of actually where you're eating what is happening with your weight at the moment with the macros that you're consuming um, and this is just going to give us a bit of a starting point so for two weeks I highly recommend that you do this for two weeks because it gives us just a better picture of what's happening okay so the first step what we, what you really want to do is to have a big picture you want to be able to see what you are eating currently at the moment you want to see what's happening with your weight um, you want to see whether you're losing weight maintaining or gaining weight um, and to do that we are going to be tracking our food and weighing ourselves every day for two weeks so what you want to do you need to weigh yourself every single morning I highly recommend that you do this in the morning at the same time this is a pretty accurate way and we'll show you a yeah an accurate weight so I do that every single morning okay and then what we want you to do is you need to track your food on my fitness pal app but because you're not dieting right now you're not really focusing on anything we're just getting an idea of what you're eating you want to enter in your food at the end of the day once you've consumed absolutely everything you're literally just about to go to bed you're not going to eat any more food so then you're going to get your phone and you're going to enter in all your food and this is going to show us a pretty accurate way i recommend doing it like this at the end of the day after you've consumed everything because when people tend to do it throughout the day they kind of get in kind of subconsciously become a bit more careful and they're like oh no I won't have that I'll have less but at the moment right now we just want to get an idea of exactly where you're at and what you're eating you're not dieting okay so after two weeks you're going to get a nice big diary of all these macros and calories that you've consumed after doing that um, for two full weeks you want to add up all of your numbers so you get a big number and then you're going to divide that number by 14 because you've got 14 days in two weeks so you're going to divide that number and this is going to be your average this is your starting point this is 
the average that you have been consuming every day for the past two weeks and then because you have been weighing yourself every single morning you want to put that into your chart and you want to see how your weight has been responding to those calories now if you are a very intuitive eater you listen to your hunger signals and you know you're not dieting your weight is probably maintained it might have gone up just a little bit but again you add up add it all up and you get that average and you maybe you've seen that you're maintaining so these are your maintenance calories this is where you sit this is where your body is happy this is where you sit and you're satisfied then step two this is where you need to work out what your goals are and probably if you are here you probably want to know how to track your macros and your calories to lose fat and i totally understand that and that's basically why I'm here because I want to show you how to lose fat tracking your macros but in a very healthy sustainable and realistic way so now we've got we've got our um, your maintenance calories and macros so let's just put a number I'm gonna say that your maintenance macros are 2,500 this is where you you maintain and you're happy so now we want to start getting into our fat loss zone getting in the zone okay so you might have looked online before and it suggests that one pound of fat is roughly about 3500 calories and if you divide that by seven um then you will see that that is 500 calories a day now i want to encourage you and i want to tell you that you don't actually have to take away 500 calories again if you want to be sensible then i suggest doing this re really 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 very slowly so you could take anything from 100 calories away to maybe 250. now i want to encourage you that the maximum that you should take away is 250 yeah so let's say your maintenance calories are 2500 you're going to take away 250 calories a day that is going to put you at 2250 now <clears throat> you want to do this for one full week you want to weigh yourself every single day you want to track your calories and your macros and you want to hit your calories 2250 for one full week now you want to see how your body weight responds. And if you see that your body weight is slowly dropping down, then you know that the following week, you do not, you do not need to cut your calories down even lower. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. They think, they, well, I think people believe that they need to speed up the process or they want to speed up the process so they just go crazy and they drop them down super low but if you're seeing a steady steady drop in your weight it's slowly coming down then what is the point in pushing yourself into a horrible really steep hot, deep deficit there is no logic in it after two weeks you want to see is your body weight still coming down if it is great stick with the macros stick with the calories do not put yourself any any lower and if you slowly see that your body weight is maybe maintaining and it's slowing down and there's not much of a fat loss there then take away 50 calories a day so then you're going to drop it down to 2200 and you're going to try that and then after that week if it's dropping then you're going to stick with it and then after that week if it's maintaining you're going to take away 50 so now you're at 2150 and you're going to see what happens then and this is the safest most sustainable healthiest way for you to track your calories and for you to lose fat all right you do not need to do anything else you do not need to put yourself in a really steep deficit from the get-go you want to see that chart slowly coming down and that is going to give you the success that you are looking for now we want to work out the macro breakdown again i think this should be very personal to the person so again you're going to look at your chart and you're going to see roughly 
the percentage of carbs, fats and protein that you are consuming every single day on average. Now me personally, I like to consume most of my calories from my carbs and I keep my fats and my protein very, very even. So let's just go as an example for that. So I'm gonna go 50% carbs, 25% fat, 25% protein. So if I'm consuming 2,250 calories, this is what the breakdown of my carbs, fat and protein is gonna look like. I'm going to be consuming 280 grams of carbs, 140 grams of protein, and 62, oh. roughly 62 to 63 grams of fat. Now this is gonna equal to roughly 2,250 calories. And again, you can totally keep this very personal to you, but I think that's a really good breakdown and a really good balance for anyone. It should help you keep satisfied, fill up, and have plenty of energy. Yeah, so those are the three simple steps that you need to take. So let's just clarify a little bit. Today, I showed you that step one, you need to weigh yourself and you need to track your food for two, four weeks to see where you are maintaining and see the average amount of calories that you are consuming. And then from there, step two, determining your goals. And you need to work out if you wanna lose fat or if you wanna gain strength and muscle. Now, if you wanna lose weight, if you wanna lose fat, then you're gonna slowly take away 100 to 250 calories a day. And you're gonna see how your body responds on a weekly basis. You're gonna review it every single week. And if you seem to be losing weight, then you're gonna stick with your calories and your macros, and you're gonna slowly drop it as you see it settle and see it slow down. But I just want to emphasize, do not drop your calories. Do not create more of a deficit if you are seeing progress. There is no need for it. And then step three, working out your macros. Again, you're gonna look at this once you've tracked your macros for two full weeks, you're gonna see on average what you're consuming. But a split of 50% carbs, 25% protein, and 25% fat is a very good, healthy, sustainable balance for you. I hope today that this video showed you a very helpful, healthy, sustainable, and effective way for you to start tracking your calories and your macros. If it did, I want you to drop me in the comments below and tell me what you've seen and what you've noticed and tell me where you're gonna be starting your new macro calorie tracking journey. And if you want any more information, then don't hesitate to drop me a message because I would love to help you and guide you on your new journey. Please subscribe, put me a thumbs up, and in the comments below, I wanna know what you wanna see. I wanna know what's not working for you. I want to know where you're stuck and what you're struggling with because I wanna create a video for you that you can learn from very, very easy and I can show you a step-by-step -step process and show you how to get that success that you are looking for. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you soon.